Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates We are starting, as you can see, with a full-on physique update of Nick Walker Three weeks out of New York Pro And let's take a look at what Nick looks like right now And I gotta say, his fullness at three weeks out is amazing I mean, look at the shoulders, how much they're popping And like the arms, of course, but that's expected Chest is also looking very nice and full And at three weeks out... He's gotta be flat, he's gotta be depleted, but he looks this round and full because... Simply because of his mass, because of the size he has, and that's it. Now, as far as the legs, I don't think we are seeing the clearest picture, because the photo here is taken from above, not the best angle to make your legs look big, but I think on stage the legs improvements will be very, very much visible. Now, as far as conditioning for three weeks out... He's almost there, he's not ready, no, not yet But I mean, if the show was next week, if he carved up and dried out He would probably still look really good and he would probably win the New York Pro even like this But no, this is not Nick Walker's signature conditioning He has a couple of more weeks, three more weeks to get it even tighter And then do a peak week, and then it's gonna be ready But right now, it's like 90%, almost there what is very interesting is that, well, as I mentioned, his fullness is looking very good right now And again, it's not because he's on high carbs, he's gotta be very depleted, very flat right now It is because he simply made so much muscle that it's pretty much impossible for him to look flat anymore For example, take a look at this physique If I didn't tell you immediately that this is Nick Walker, would you figure it out, like at a first glimpse? Because his physique... Three years ago, when he won the New York Pro, looked so much different. The difference in these two physiques is crazy. I mean, he added so much more muscle everywhere, literally, like uh, shoulders and arms especially. I gotta say chest too, legs. We can't see the back right now, but his back is also bigger. And also, this photo was taken at three weeks out of New York Pro, 2021, which was his real pro debut, yeah, he had a previous one right after he turned pro, but this was like an actual pro debut after a little bit of an off-season, where he looked amazing at that show, he won, and now he's coming back, metamorphosized, literally, like a different human being, with so much new muscle everywhere on his physique, I think the judges could just move him to the side and compare the other guys Of course, they're not gonna do that, this is a bodybuilding show Nick will be in all the callouts, right in the center, just, you know, for the show Because I don't think any of those guys can truly challenge him Only, maybe, if he's, like, really off, really, really off Which never happens, which will not happen at the New York Pro So, for him, this will probably feel like just a guest posing He's going over there because he needs to do that show, but really, he's definitely a much higher caliber than these uh, low-level shows. And New York Pro is one of the average shows, basically. I mean, this year, the lineup is very deep, but like last year, it wasn't. I mean, really, Tony O'Burton won, and Beef Stew was second. The year before that, Charles Griffin won, and the year before that, Blessing Awadibu won who was in, like, fifth call-out at the Mr. Olympia. So, New York Pro, the quality of the show went down big time in the past couple of years, but now, with Nick Walker back in the game, it's gonna be much different. It's gonna be much, much better, and there is a whole bunch of other great guys, but sadly, they're all fighting for second, and Nick is gonna look his best, I'm sure about that. He's gonna give us a really good show, but as far as comparing him to other guys, the way I see it right now, it's not gonna be needed, really. Since I already mentioned him, here is what Beef Stew looks like three weeks out of New York Pro. Yes, he's doing the New York Pro, and I gotta say, right now, at this guest posing, he looks really good. Conditioning-wise, that's it. That's it, he's ready. He's already shredded. Now he needs to cruise into the show, maybe work on his fullness and, like, let his body rest up, freshen up, lose some water, do a peak week, and, you know, that's it, really. He doesn't need to work on his conditioning anymore. Three weeks out, he is already peeled, which, in my opinion, is ideal. It's the best way. If you can be ready that, that far ahead of a show, you can play around. You can probably increase your carbs, keep them very high and just cruise. 
you know, maintain conditioning while working on your fullness and coming in very fresh and well rested to the show. You can play around, you can uh, increase your carbs and keep them higher uh, and maintain conditioning, you know, come in uh, more fresh and rested to the show. You can pull out some things, you can bring them back, see how your body reacts, what works best for you, how you look your best. You know, you have that much time, you can play around, try different things and, you know, work on your peak. And I think that's exactly what Beef Stew is going to do. He has a coach, he is not doing it himself. So they'll figure out the formula. For me personally, this is ideal. This is the best way to do the show. So once again, his conditioning is done. As far as the peak week for the show, it's going to be different than this guest posing peak week, I'm sure. He's going to get more dehydrated probably and drier, but as far as body fat percent... I think this is it. Now, as far as his muscularity, he obviously has a lot of size. I think he's like, he's pretty heavy. He's like 260 maybe, something like that. Like, I think he's a pretty, pretty big guy. But, you know, as far as shape, in some poses, it's very good. In some others, it's not exactly the best structure possible. He probably won't be the prettiest bodybuilder on that stage. But muscularity-wise, size-wise, conditioning-wise, he can hang. And this guy is very young, he's only 27 right now, and he's on the rise. He's getting better and bigger each year. And once again, not the prettiest physique of all, but, you know, very big, very conditioned. I'm sure he's gonna do very well at the New York Pro. Alright, next up, we got a little guest posing from Brett Wilkin. Finally, he got the size back. He lost a lot of size because he had some uh, stomach issues some gut issues, his body, I think, wasn't digesting food properly, he had some bad issues, but he figured it out, he fixed that, and he's back to full-on, full-blown training and eating and doing everything, and uh, as you can see, his body is reacting very nicely, he's back to his original size, really, I'm not sure when he's gonna compete, which show he's planning to do, but I think he has a little bit more of off-season, a little bit more of growing and progressing before his prep starts, unless he wants to look the same like he did the last time he was on stage, which I don't think Matt Jensen would be okay with. You know, he was making a lot of progress, getting bigger every off-season, and then he, you know, had that issue and he lost a lot of size. I think he was off of the gear for a while, and so he, he, he's back for sure. He's back to where he was, but I think he needs to keep on going before he makes another leap and then cut and then get ready for the show. So in my opinion, I don't think this guy is going to compete this year. Maybe next year, next spring, something like that. Maybe Arnold Classic. I can see something like that. What do you guys think? We also got a little physique update of Akim Williams. Maybe like five weeks out of uh, Toronto Pro. And, you know, I gotta say he definitely does look smoother now. Especially in the chest area. He wasn't this soft on the stage, of course, but, you know, it's normal. Five weeks out, he probably relaxed for a little bit for a couple of weeks, a week or two. You know, he lost some of that uh, look, but he can bring it back in five weeks, no problem. I mean, this guy, the way, he, the way he looks when he started the Arnold Classic prep was just... It was bad. It wasn't good. I'm sure you guys remember. Because he had a shoulder surgery before this. And so he just grew into the show. He was getting bigger and leaner. And in the end, the outcome was amazing. Now, Akim is planning on doing Toronto Pro. And we know that Quinton Raya is probably going to do that show as well. Because it's in his hometown. He wants to win it to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. But is Akim going to let him do that again? Back in 2022, which was Quinton's last show, Akim beat him at Tampa Pro. So the question is, is that going to happen again? Or did Quinton get so much better to defeat Akim Williams? Well, based on the way Akim is looking right now, four, five weeks out, I'll just say it's gonna be extremely difficult for Quinton Araya to beat Akim Williams. Not impossible, but very difficult. You guys tell me down below what do you think. Next up, we got a little physique update from Michael Grigio, who, yeah, he looks great. He looks his usual self. He looks big and, and vascular and lean and you know very full very 3d very round very very impressive physique but is he gonna be better than he was last year i don't know about that in my opinion his emperor cup spain last year was his best at a mr olympia he was more shredded but smaller flatter and then at the prague pro he was like he had that fullness he was definitely fuller but he was a little bit watery because of that so i mean he i think he lost too much uh, on that uh, Mr. Olympia prep that he couldn't bring back the fullness in a couple of weeks. 
The reason I'm saying all this is because I don't see Krizia making some kind of crazy improvements. Really, he always looks pretty much the same in the offseason. I think it is prep time when he actually changes, because he's not really pushing things in the offseason, and so when I'm looking at him right here, I don't see any changes, really, he looks the same like last year. And also last year he was really shredded the Mr. Olympus, so I don't see how he can even bring a better, improved version of himself, because, again, it doesn't look like that right now, and if he does the prep, maybe things are gonna change in the meantime, We'll see, but I mean, he looks amazing right now, he's most likely going to defend his title and win the Ampro Cup 2024, and as far as his competition at that show, he has Bekrus Tabani, who also looks damn impressive right now, I mean, he has that crazy fullness and also conditioning that only Iranians have, you know, he has a thin skin with like a lot of details, that plastic look, so it's gonna be difficult for this guy to beat Krishan for Krishan to beat this guy. But I'm betting on Krizia because of legs. Bekros Tabani doesn't have the best legs. Maybe he's gonna be like more conditioned, better peaked. But in open bodybuilding, size of the muscle is probably the most important thing. So I don't see Bekros beating uh, Krizia and winning in many shots against him. I do have Krizia winning the Ampro Cup Spain again. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And for more content similar to this, guys, subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best. And bye-bye.